As Asia had mentioned, my name is Cleo Williams, and I work with TxDOT in the traffic section. And uh, what we did was we incorporated all our traffic counts in one central database, a web-based web -based application that you can have access to on the internet. This system allows us to store our traffic data, analyze our traffic data, and report various traffic data throughout for the state of Texas. We have WIM data, volume data, speed data, and classification data. The system comes through with a preliminary uh, analysis in the system it, uh, with various QC checks throughout. It checks for the hour, time of hour, the ADT that's coming through, the volume counts that's coming through, and it compares it to historical data throughout the system and it flags the data if it's in, uh, erroneous, if it's been collected out of a specific uh, ring of, getting nervous, <laughs> sorry about that. But uh, because, uh, it notifies us if it's being collected out of range. So we received a count that uh, came into the system. It was located on I-35. However, it has been displayed on FM 360, it will notify us of that change, that instance. And the answer has the idea to go and look at it and verify the information. Here's the website that you can have access to. It's text.ms2soft.com forward slash TCDS. And there's two ways of searching for the data. We have a quick search. and a map search. And again, inside the system, Star 2 has over 140,000 traffic lo locations. Long term, which consists of stations that collect data 24-7, 365, and that's its IHR stations that collect volume, classification, and or speed data. Our WIM data as well collects weight data, volume, classification and or speed data. And then we have short-term sites. We are our MVC sites, it's approximately a little over 800 stations, but in that case, they're broken out in legs. Our annual and urban ACR counts and our tick data. Again, you have the quick search and the map search. With the quick search, you can search pick it down by district, locate counts that's in located in a specific district, county, community, count type, and year. Any combination of district, have a pick a district, you can pick a county, a community, count type, year. Any, any combination of these will filter out counts located for that in that area. Then we have the map search. And with map search, what you can do is, oops, let me go back. you can use this locate tool here, and you can directly put in the address of your location. And then what it'll do, it'll zoom into that location and you can turn on your uh, TCDS locations and identify all the traffic counts in that area. Again, the field square address, you got the zoom and zoom out. Again, once you have identified all your counts, it will display them all. You have access to the historical ADT, hourly counts, and also hourly counts by lane. Can you switch? I'm going to try to do a live demo. That way you can actually see.
And here's the system here. What I can do is I can put in a district, say Brian. I'm going to search for account type. Volume. Put in the year. Get out of here. And what the system does is locates all the counts we have in that area for your specific filter. And it's going to locate the first one it has on the screen which is 145D1, was located here. And what you can do is you can zoom in and filter down on the counts that was collected on. In this area here on this eyeball, I can click in and zoom in and give a breakdown of, of the data that's associated to this count. So here you can see the hourly data. You see the hourly data. By the two-way, which way was collected. Then you have access to the different types of graphs and reports for this count. Have your line graph. Give you a weekly report breakdown how the data was collected. hourly count again. If we have multiple lanes, it will give you a breakdown by the lane. With map search, you can put a type in a specific area. So I want to put in College Station. It zooms into that area. And what you can do is you can have the option to turn on your traffic counts. You click on all locations. And you have a key of the type of data that's being collected. The annual ACR, HOV, MVC data, perm data, and so forth.
And as you can see, you can see your traffic counts throughout in this area. As again, the black indicate annual ACR count, which is a 24 hour count. The yellow here is a permanent count station. Let me click on that. And it gives you the breakdown, which is a count of 33,581. It gives you a breakdown for the northbound and the southbound. Click on view details. What it does is populate the tablet side of the screen. where you can zoom into the data in more detail over here. And that's a permanent count station, so you have data 24-7, collects every day, and you can go in and view these counts. You have a Wednesday count for December the 31st. You have a count of 20,000, 24,067. You can zoom in and get the breakdown of these counts. That's a two-way count. I can look at the northbound. Get the northbound total. You have your southbound total. And then you also have the option to review about the lane data. Northbound has three lanes, one, two, and three. Southbound as well has three lanes. You can also dig into those and get those hourly counts as well. And the same thing, you have access to these bar graphs, line graphs, then to give a breakdown of the count that's coming in. breakdown of the data that came in for that week period. It displays your peak hour, the AM peak, AM peak hour, and your PM peak hour. And also gives you the average of the daily counts for that week. But what the system was able to do is put everything, like I said, in a central location that we can have access with the public without, you know, uh, without a user login. If you had to log in, you'll get more detailed data with a file with a breakdown. Let's 
you want to search for WIM data, on a quick search, you can look at all your WIM data that we have, stations that we have throughout for the state of Texas. Search for and found 35 WIM stations. If you do a locate all, Here locates all your WIM stations we have throughout the state of Texas. And you can click on any one of these to get a breakdown of your count. Click on view detail, populates the left hand side of the screen, the tablet side. You can get a breakdown of your WIM data that we have. So you have it over here. The class of the vehicle, the speed, the vehicle weight, the axle space and the weights of each axle. But feel free to go out and use this site. We have access, you have access to our most current data that we have available to the public. You had any questions? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You can get easels off of here. Right here, you will break down ESOs at that site for each classification of vehicle. With us, with deal with us, with the text out, we have access to it right then. Okay. With the public, it will be a year's delay. I have, if you want to access to it with more detail, uh, detail it, you can send us a request that we can provide you that data. Okay. 